Here we're going to take a look at the Pico BT and how to use it. The tester comes with AT9 Plus and M3 riser. To power the tester, we use any standard PSU that can output 12 volts through a 6-pin connector. Here, we're going to use a variable power supply set to output 12 volts. To do so, we're going to make our own power cable by using alligator clips on the appropriate leads. Make sure the power supply is turned off when plugging the cable. The tester should turn on in hashboard mode as soon as the PSU powers up. Move the cursor with the green and blue buttons. The green buttons go up and down, while the blue buttons go left and right. Press on the white button to select the model. The blue button on the left called PSU will let you plug the PSU data cable on your ASIC miner to monitor power while testing. Find the appropriate data cable connection through the ports on top of the tester. We're going to use a separate PSU so no need to activate it. The top green button is to change between the three test modes. Mode 1 is an ASIC test for detecting weak chips. Mode 2 is for the temp value of the temperature sensors. And Mode 3 is for showing the chip model. The bottom green button toggles between single cycle testing or continuous test cycling. The blue button on the right called PIC lets you choose between PIC, PC0 or PC1. PIC mode sends a command to the PIC microcontroller to turn off the MOSFETs on the hash board. PC0 turns them on and sends an RST signal value of 0 volts, and PC1 sends a high RST signal of 1.8 volts to the test points. Here we're not going to be using the PIC mode. The red button takes us back to the hashboard selection menu, and the test button starts the test cycle. Since the Pico BT is compatible with most ASIC miners, it has multiple serial ports. To identify which port to use, follow the blue stripe indicator on the edge of the display. We then power on the PSU and start the test on the Pico BT by pressing the white button. Here we're in mode 1 and continuous test cycling. We can see the number of cycles in blue in the top left corner. As we can see, the chip count should indicate 48 chips for this model. Here we're seeing some cycles showing up with zero chips on the counter. This means the circuit stability is compromised and further diagnosis is required. For instance, we can go back and start the test in mode two for temp values. As we can see, the temp sensors are reading extremely high. The Pico BT can also test power supply units and write on EEPROMs. To access the PSU tester, close Pico BT with the red push button and press it again while holding the white button. To access the power tester, press the red button and for the EEPROM editor, press the white button. The Pico BT is compatible with eight PSU types at the moment. Consider subscribing for more ASIC repair tutorials.